Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to be providing you archaeologists unearth a Stone Age village in Israel that could help rewrite human history. Get ready to be transported back in time and learn about the fascinating history of this amazing discovery. But before we continue the video, please subscribe to our channel now and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Let's start our video. In the valleys of Jordan, in Israel, archaeologists are excavating the fascinating remnants of an ancient settlement, and as the team recovers relics and artifacts from the site, a startling picture begins to emerge one that's shedding new light on the lives of the humans who lived there over 10,000 years ago. Archaeologists on Earth Day Stone Age Village in Israel that could help rewrite human history. Beginning some two million years ago, the Stone Age ushered in a time of great change for real humans. Yes, having learned to craft weapons and tools, they took their first steps on the long road to civilization as we know and recognize it today. Having spanned a duration of around 3 million years all told, the Stone Age is now typically broken up into three distinct periods. They are the Paleolithic, the Mesolithic, and the Neolithic stages. And by the time the Great Prehistoric Period drew to a close, mankind was no longer a nomadic hunter-gatherer. Instead, we had become relatively sophisticated beings capable of skilled tasks such as working with metal. Today, many aspects of the Stone Age remain a mystery though, yet thanks to archaeology, we are always learning more about the world that our ancestors inhabited. Across the globe sites continually reveal incredible relics from this fascinating bygone time. And these discoveries, in turn, give us priceless insights into where we came from and who we are. For example, the Neolithic village of Scarabray in Scotland's Orkney Islands has allowed experts to reconstruct what life was like more than 5,000 years ago in France. Meanwhile, Paleolithic cave paintings have taught us much about early humans' approach to culture and art. As for the Middle East, in 1928, Dorothy Gorov, a British archaeologist, began work on a cave in the Jubian Hills of Palestine. There she conducted one of the first excavations to focus on the early history of the area. She discovered, as a result, the first evidence of a Mesolithic culture in the area. And these finds came in the form of tiny tools made from a stone known as microlifts. The following year, Gaurav discovered similar relics in a cave on a nature reserve some 70 miles to the north, and a tree she called the Culture Natufian, and went on to make numerous related discoveries in the area around Mount Carmel. Later, Reen Neuville of French archaeologists joined her, and together, they established a distinct prehistory for the region. Then, more than eight decades after Gorov had first identified the Natufian culture, a team of archaeologists from the Hebrew University of Jerusalem began excavating a site at non-aligned Jeban, what is now Israel, located just east of the Sea of Galilee. The spot was first studied in the early 1970s, but it had secrets yet to tell. Now, recent excavations have revealed some startling facts about not allowing Jeff and the people who lived there one thousands of years ago. Between 2010 and 2013, the archaeologists spent four summer seasons braving the heat of the Jordan Valley, and what they found has cast new light on a fascinating period in human history. Thought to be some 12,000 years old, the site at Non-Aligned, Jeff represents the remains of an ancient village. It appears to have been inhabited at a time when humans were beginning to abandon their hunter-gatherer lifestyles in favor of agricultural communities. And as such, it provides valuable insight into this transitional era. During their excavations, archaeologists recovered many artifacts associated with the people who once called this village home. The finds included tools crafted from flint and bone alongside animal fossils, and there were even some early examples of art, such as limestone models, carved pieces, and jewelry. Indeed, more than 200 examples of ancient ornamentation were found during the dig, the majority of them taking the form of fancy beads. It seems in fact that some of the artifacts were crafted from locally sourced shells and may have been produced in the village. 
Others, meanwhile, were made from a rarer material known as a green stone. According to experts, green stone does not naturally occur in the area around not aligned Jeff, so the materials presented at the village site indicate that the ancient residents may have engaged in trading with other communities. And there was more. The archaeologists also recovered a couple of bone pieces carved with a distinctive design. This design has been spotted on artifacts at many Stone Age sites across the region. So it seems as if the inhabitants of this village were in contact with other settlements sharing both objects and traditions relating to art. Some of the items exhibit a more unique style, though suggesting that the degree of local autonomy existed as well. Intriguingly, these artifacts weren't the only things recovered from the site either. Archaeologists also discovered the remains of five ancient humans. In one case, the body of a woman was found laying face up with her frame curled up into a ball. And according to experts, this could indicate that her burial involves a sack or some other type of wrapping. Elsewhere, the team discovered the remains of four people inside a burial pit. One had been interred in an almost identical fashion to that of the body uncovered at the first location. Meanwhile, bones from the remaining three people were found scattered randomly, suggesting the reuse of the grave over time. Even more interestingly, some of the artifacts recovered from the site appear to represent two distinct periods of human history. On the one hand, archaeologists retrieved items such as sickles that early farmers had perhaps wielded, yet on the other, they found the remains of wild animals, including gazelles, deer, and boar. And this indicates that the inhabitants had also continued to practice hunting on some level. For the experts, the discoveries are thus a fascinating mix of finds from different eras of the Stone Age. Although attributes of the lithic toolkit were found at neat places on the site in the Paleolithic period, other characteristics, such as its artistic tradition and investment in architecture, are more typical of agricultural communities in the Neolithic period. Archaeologist Dr. Lear Grossman explained in a 2016 statement from the Hebrew University of Jerusalem, moving forwards then not aligned Jeff represents a unique opportunity to learn more about how early humans evolved. Characterizing this period is crucial for the understanding of the processes that mark the shift from societies of hunter-gatherers to agricultural communities, Dr. Grossman added. Researchers have now theorized that the change in climate in the Jordan Valley may have caused the inhabitants there to make the move towards a farming lifestyle and settle in larger communities. But did their success inspire others to follow suit? That is something we may never know for sure. However, sites like non-aligned JDV remain an invaluable resource for those looking to understand more about our ancient origins. Thanks for watching. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.